Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to use the corresponding operator in ABAP. This operator is used to copy data between two internal tables. The internal tables do not have to have the same number of columns. I will show you a few examples here using the accept and mapping keywords. So. I start with the declaration of two types. Um, types. First uh, a type uh, with uh, two columns and the second type have three columns. So I write here begin of pi to cal. Carl one type C and Carl two type C. Then end of I to Carl Okay, so that's my first type. Then I need a second type, begin of pi three cal, cal one, type C, cal two, type C, and cal three. Type C and end of tie three cal. Okay, so I have two types, and now I declare the internal tables. My first internal table. I call it LT tab one type standard table of tie to cal. And the second internal table tab two type standard table of tie three cal. Okay, next uh, we need two structures. First, ls tab one type tie two cal, and the second structure ls tab two type. Tie three cal. Okay. Now we have uh, two internal tables and two structures declared. And next we fill the first internal table. LT tab one is value hashtag. If you want to know how the value operator works. I have uh, explained this in one of my former videos. I will link this video on top right. So hashtag and I want to create some records here. So I write call one is A and call two is B for example and let's Copy this line of code and paste it here again. Another one. Okay, quick formatting here. Okay. So now we have some values in my first internal table and 
now I show you the old way how to copy data from an internal table to another internal table. And for this we need a loop. So I loop at LT top one into LS tab one. So we read the first line of the internal table and we write this to the structure. Then I use the keyword move corresponding ls tab one to ls tab two. And now we have to append this structure, the second structure, to the second internal table. So append ls tab 2 to lt tab 2. And because we have uh, three records here, the loop run three times and so we have to clear the structures at the end of the loop. So we close the loop here. And now I want to display the two internal tables. For this I write CL demo. Output. Uh, output uh, write data and here I write LT tab one. It's my first internal table and I want to display the second internal table too. So I write here CL demo output, uh, write data, LT tab 2. And last CL demo output display. So let's pretty print the code and activate. Let's run the program. And we see here my first internal table, column one, column two, is copied to the second internal table. Okay, and now I show you the new way with the operator corresponding. And for this I write LT tab 2 is corresponding hashtag lt tab 1. That's all. As you can see, you can save some lines of code here. So let's command the old way and let's command the declaration of the structure. Activate and run the program again and we see the result is the same. and the whole thing with only one line of code. So next uh, I want to use the keyword uh, accept and this keyword I can use if I don't want to copy the data of one column. For example, I don't want to copy the values of column two in my, or to my second internal table. And for this I write here, accept and the name of the column, cal2. Activate the code and run the program. And we see here, column two from my first internal table is not in my second internal table because it's accept. Then I have a second keyword called mapping. 
and this keyword you can use if you want to map uh, the values of one column to another column in my example i want to map the data from column one from the first internal table to column three to my second internal table so i write here mapping column three from my second internal table is column two from my first internal table ah column one sorry because i accept column two so uh, let's activate and run the code and we see here uh, column two is accept not copied and the data of column one is mapped to column three yes so uh, the corresponding operator is quite easy to use and yes yes that's it thanks for watching if you want to see more videos please sub subscribe to my channel and leave me comments i always like to read and answer them until next time thank you and see you soon